Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Ultimate Team Summer Transfers Round 2. Now, I did a video on Round 1 and that seemed to go down well. People were interested to see all the new transferred players and obviously if you follow EA Sports on Twitter, then uh, you, chances are you've probably already seen this webpage and this video might not be for you unless you want to stay and hear what I have to say, I suppose. But, uh, you know, the link to this webpage will be down in the description to those who are interested. But uh, I'm going to run through the Summer Transfers and uh, just let you guys know, although just before I do... Hold up. Do not buy any of the play the 80 plus rated players when they first come out. Wait about a week from when uh, they uh, the, these players come out in packs, which I might add is uh, 6 p.m. on Friday, which is the day this is uploaded. So today, but uh, if you're watching this in a um, in any other day, then they're already out in packs. But uh, yeah, please don't go and go and buy them when they first come out. People put them up for extortionate prices, and I see people bidding ridiculous amounts of money on uh, players they really shouldn't be having to spend that much on. But enough of all that shenanigans. Let's get straight into uh, this round two summer transfers. So, let's look at the top the top two. In fact, I mean these these two might be arguably two of the biggest summer transfers. I mean we obviously don't know the summer transfer is still very much open. And to be honest with you, I'm hoping that there are going to be some more big transfers. But at the moment, Thiago Silva and Zlatan Ibrahimovic have got to be two of the biggest signings of the summer so far, and they're both from Milan. Milan are given not given away, I suppose, but selling their players. Like, just crazy. I mean, to give away two of your best players um, away to PSG, I understand, obviously, a di it's a different league, so it's not like you're giving it away, you're giving or selling your players to a rival. But uh, still, I mean, to, to replace those two players is going to be a big task, but I fully expect Milan to go and buy some big, big players, and uh, hopefully they can replace them, and uh, I wish them all the best with that. But as far as um, overall changes, there is none. Zlatan still an 88 Thiago Silva still in 87, but uh, they're both now in PSG, and you can bet your ass they're going to go for so much when uh, they first come out in packs, but like I said, resist! Resist the temptation. Honestly, guys, it will be worth it. Trust me. And um, we obviously have Mark Van Bommel there moving from Milan to PSV, another Milan player leaving. You got Yossi Benayoun moving from Arsenal over to Chelsea, and uh, Alberto Aquilani move, uh, coming back, I suppose, because he was on loan to Milan. Uh, Milan had the option to buy him, but uh, decided against it, and uh, he's come back now to Liverpool, playing at centre midfield. And it'll be interesting to see if uh, Brendan Rodgers has any sort of plans at how he's going to integrate um, Aquilani into the Liverpool squad, or even if he's going to feature. Maybe, um, maybe he might sell him on, but uh, I'm not too sure. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Then uh, we scroll, we look a little bit further down, we have the right wing Chelsea, Solomon Kalou, who played at Chelsea, you know, wasn't exactly the impact player that, that we all thought he might have been, but, uh, you know, he's gone back to Lille, and I imagine Lille were looking for someone to replace Hazard, who, funnily enough, went to Chelsea, uh, so it's kind of been a bit of a swap there, but uh, you can imagine Lille were looking to, you know, keep the width in the team, so they decided to bring in Kalou, and, uh, you know, I wish him all the best over at, um, over in the French League, and uh, hopefully he has a little bit better of a time at uh, Lille than he did at Chelsea. Anyways, moving on, we have uh, Jan Vertonek, who's moved from Ajax to Spurs. Um, you know, there's a lot of players here. I, I'm not going to name every single one of them. Um, we, you have, who else do we have here? Clarence Seedorf, who's moved from Milan again. Milan selling their players over to Botafogo, and um, it'll be really interesting to see how he does. I personally think he'll suit um, the Brazilian league really, really well. He is old now, but uh, Clarence Seedorf is just a legend in the game. Such a, just Not in FIFA, but just in football in general. Just a genuine genuine legend and I hope he does really well over in the Brazilian league. Again Juventus have been buying players, they bought Isla there and um, you know a, a right midfielder and Udinese selling their players again but uh, Juventus you can expect them to be spending quite a bit of money this transfer window. Um, we've already seen uh, some of the purchases they've made. Um, again Joe Cole coming back from Lille there back to Liverpool. Um, you have Steven Pienaar there going over to Spurs. Um, Spurs um, have been doing a little bit of business during this transfer window. They also managed to pick up Gilfie Sigerson there who was actually set to go to Liverpool but ended up um, Spurs managed to nick him there. So it'll be re really interesting to see how well he does at Spurs. But uh, yeah, so we look, um, we keep going through him. Um, Olic there, you played for Bayern Munich. Now moving over to Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg have made actually actually feature a little bit in this um, in this list uh, a little further down, I assume. But 
we'll get to that soon. Um, Marco Marin, the German player, um, who's actually now a center attacking mid. He was he used to be a left mid, but uh, he moved from uh, Werder Bremen, Bremen, I think that's how you say it, um, over to Chelsea. I actually watched him play an MLS side. Him and Eden Hazard played well, but uh, the star of the show had to be um, Lukaku, who managed to get two goals, I believe, in that game. And uh, yeah, that was a that was quite a good game to watch, actually. A lot of goals. Then we got Zarate, who featured in my squad builder that I uploaded yesterday. Fantastic player on FIFA. Again, still staying at that 80 rated, but he's been transferred from Inter over to Lazio. Then we have uh, Jonathan Woodgate there, Stoke City player, moved over to Middlesbrough. Um, a lot of players here, like I said, you know, if I don't name them, uh, name them, then my apologies. The link is down in uh, the description if you want to just go ahead and check them out there. Um, Ilano there, that um, Santos player, has uh, stayed within that league and moved to Gremio. Um, we have Taiwo there, moved from QPR and uh, going back to Milan. So, uh... Keep scrolling down, and you know, there's just a lot of players here. You guys are more than welcome to check out yourself. Um, you know, like I said, the link is down in the description. And uh, yeah, so now we kind of, we're getting to the sag part. Oh, but just before we do that, though, as you can see, Gilfie Sigerson, um, still 75 rated, center attacking mid, move from Swansea over to Spurs there. Bastos there, who I might add, um, his team of the season one was unreal. Um, his shot was crazy. But again, like I said, um, he's been moved over to Wolfsburg, which um, featured a little bit um, above as well. So now we've got the sad part of the sad part of the list with all the players that have been removed. And I know for me, there are a lot of players here who um, I'll certainly miss. They're more real life legends to me more than FIFA legends. But uh, we'll just kick it off here. We have Del Piero who played for Juventus. You have Michael Balak there. Um, you got Nico Cranchar, who may maybe isn't the big legend that I, I was just talking about, but uh, he played for Spurs. Um, and just, you know, the biggest one has got to me, Rude Van Nistelrooy. What an absolute legend. And I know he'll be missed in real life um, as well as on, um, on FIFA. But then we have Owen Hargreaves, who was just injury prone all the time. He, he was just injured throughout his time at Man City. And I honestly wish he wasn't because he had a lot of potential. And it would have been great to see him. Just um, just go on and do good things, but unfortunately, his time has come, and now he has been removed from the packs. Um, we got Dirk Kite, who has moved away from Liverpool. Luis Saha as well. And, uh, you know, um, that's about it for this list. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. My apologies if it dragged on a little bit, but uh, I hope I managed to keep you guys all clued up on the Ultimate Team news, and uh, that's pretty much what this video is for. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.